Hi friends, welcome to another art adventure by yours truly, Lupe out of Blind Art Studios. And so here I'm showing you the uh, different colors that I mixed. These are all uh, basically custom colors. Um, so more or less, if you wanted to do something like this, um, you kind of look at the colors and that's kind of where it's going to take you. But um, the interesting part here is this slow dry medium by Liquitex. It's fantastic. It's like a magic elixir. Um, I put it into the paints thinking that I, I would use it to um, basically uh, thin out the paints. But instead what it did was it thickened them up and it made them super creamy. Like, oh my gosh, this stuff is fantastic. Okay, so then I thought, okay... Does it do it to all the colors, all the paints, and all the ones that I put together, it did that to them. So, oh my gosh. um, It is kind of expensive, but oh my goodness. I'm going to try this for when I'm actually pouring as well. So, yeah, because sometimes I'll have paints that are like super thin and it's like, oh gosh, you know, how do I thicken them up? Um, this thing that I just found. So, anyhow... Um, so earlier you saw that my reference um, photos for this uh, um, flower are basically uh, photos of a lily plant that's in a flower pot outside, as well as a book called Flowers, 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 which is a book on flower arrangement. <laughs> Uh, are arranging. Um, so I actually got this book in Old Town Salinas in California when my nieces um, were super young. Okay, so like they were like five to like 13. So um, and the youngest one that was five right now is like what almost 19. So <laughs> it's been a while. Um, and when I had my accident, I got rid of all my books, I mean, all my textbooks and stuff like that in print. But I didn't get rid of like the unusual the stuff, right? And um, so thank goodness I didn't because um, now they're fantastic reference uh, references for me. Um, maybe the textbooks would have also um, been um, obviously can't do the whole writing stuff, but the photos, um, you know, what I do is basically I take a picture of whatever it is that I need as a reference, and then I airplay it onto the big screen, and then I can more or less uh, figure out shapes and stuff like that. So anyhow, so if you like what I'm doing, um, if you want to support me, please like and subscribe. Um, also, do a comment, even if it's just like a happy face or whatever. Um, apparently, the algorithms like comments. <laughs> Um, and also if you can please share, especially with, um, low vision or visually impaired individuals, I'm trying to figure, you know, find community, like find people that are, uh, in my same, um, situation so that maybe I don't have to feel so alone. Um, although, um, by you watching these videos, you make me feel like I'm not alone. So thank you so much for doing that for me. This, in fact, really is therapy for me. Um, so thank you so much for helping me along with this. And um, so, yeah, so I'm super proud of this one because um, because of this Liquitex um, medium, um, the paints that I mixed um, obviously are, um, they dry slower, but also as I'm putting it on, it slides onto the canvas and then when I put another layer on top of it, it blends so well. It's just so fantastic. Uh, I, you know, I bought it um, because I couldn't find floating medium for the one stroke um, sessions or lessons that Donna Dewberry does on YouTube. Um, and so I thought, well, you know, if the floating medium is supposed to allow for like slower um, drying time and stuff like that, then maybe I can just get the Liquitex, um, slow dry stuff. And thank goodness I did, um, because I do use a lot of Liquitex, um, paints, even in the, uh, one stroke, um, s sessions that I do with Donna Dewberry. I mean, I, I don't do them with her. I just watch her YouTube video and, and follow along kind of stuff. Um, so anyhow, 
I really do appreciate you watching um, and coming along with me on my art journey. So I'm learning a lot. Um, and I'm excited to share this with you, to share this with myself. I, um, I find so many typos after I watch it on the, on the TV. <laughs> but not when I'm editing. <laughs> which sucks but it's okay um so like i said thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate your support and um hopefully i'll see you back again for my next port um tomorrow so i um i publish videos every day all right thanks see you